So today, guys, I'm going to be installing this uh, iSimple brand uh, FM modulator. This is a, a hardwire type modulator. It's not one that you just you know plug into your cigarette lighter and it uses close proximity to work. This actually hijacks your uh, antenna connection in the car right here. So it has an in and an out. So all of your radio signal for the car runs through this. Um, and actually, the quality is getting better and better, I feel like. It's not as good as CD quality, necessarily, but for a vehicle like this, 987 Porsche Boxster, where it has this fiber optic connection for the stereo amplifier, your options are very, very limited. What you can actually do for an aftermarket iPod input. Uh, the reason why I went with this iSimple one instead of just a off-the-shelf knockoff something or other uh, is because it comes with this interface adapter, which I suppose you could just buy separately and install on anything, uh, which takes a standard MFI certified lightning cable and uses this box to A, charge your phone, and B, break out the audio into RCA connections, which this can then use. Um... And yeah, uh, after it gets processed by this box, which is obviously powered at the same time, it goes out through the antenna via one of two frequencies, which are controlled by that little switch in there. Defaults to 87.9, you can switch it to 88.3. Um, I had previously installed a fiber optic breakout adapter in this car, which did not work. A little unfortunate, but it's very very high technology so it's not surprising that it didn't work um, first step i'm actually just gonna kind of get everything set into place and turn it on to make sure it works um, it did come with some instructions but i'm not really the instruction type so right now i'm gonna hook up both the in and the out of the antenna which will in this case require some european car adapters which luckily i already had um, from the previous installation. Hopefully this works. Otherwise, I did buy some new ones as well. Um, just gonna plug in the antennas to the in and the out here, and then I'm going to hook up, where is it? The other end of this switch, which I have to plug in here, it has a black and a red. I already had the old uh, module tied in down here, so that's where I'm going to tie in for the test. Uh, this kit came with a switch. Uh, I'm going to leave it in for right now. I don't think I'm going to leave it in. Uh, if this is here just to save your battery, if you have a non-switched 12-volt power supply in your car, I get that. Um, I'm a little worried, though, if uh, I flip this switch and it cuts off all of the incoming radio frequencies except for the RF modulator. So I'm going to verify that before I remove this switch from the equation. Um, but we'll learn together on that one. I'm going to go ahead and hook this all in right now, and I'll kind of show you where we're at. All right. So there I've got the red and the black on some switched 12-volt power. I've got my switch hooked up here. It's on. I have the box hooked into both the antennas. And I've... Sorry, there's not much more room back here, but since of the fiber optic and all that. All right. So let me go over to FM. And, wow, I've actually never used this radio before. Well, let me navigate to the right radio preset and then I'll come back to this. <laughs> All right, I navigated it over to 87.9. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Spotify. You can see it is it is charging my phone, which is great. Just go to Daily Mix. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sorry, I had to cut off the music. I don't want to risk the ad revenue change here. So, uh, that works really, really well. Um, what I'm going to do now is turn it back up for a second and then flip the switch off and see if that kills it. It does. Okay, so next up for me, change the radio station. 
if, you know. All right, so you can leave the FM modulator on and it will still pass through regular radio. So that's perfect. Um, that's awesome. I'm gonna turn off the ignition now. And we should see the power turn off for the phone. Might be waiting for a delay relay here. Hmm. I might have to lock the car for that outlet to turn off. It is important um, that you put this on a switched 12 volt power supply if you're gonna get rid of this switch because otherwise it'll eat your car battery, which is not something you want. I'm actually gonna try to lock the car here. Well, okay, that switch might be useful then. Um, you might have to just install this somewhere and only turn it on when you're gonna be using the lightning port. Otherwise, this will always be drawing some power, which is not good. Hmm. Weird. Well, if you're looking for switched 12 volt power and you're 987 like I was, there's a thin orange wire in this loom and uh, key in the ignition, you get 12.45 volts. Take the key out of the ignition, no volts. So that is what I'm gonna use for the modulator. And there we have it. My 12 volt tap wire out the top. Finally, and I'm actually gonna get a spade and use this nice ground point to ground my modulator as well, since it's over here anyway. Well, here we have it. Pauses the music, put the key back in, radio fires up. And... Boom. That'll work. Wow, that was a pain. <laughs> now to tidy everything up. And I'm actually gonna bypass or get rid of this switch. Maybe I'll just zip tie it up into a pile, but either way, I'm not gonna use the switch because we're doing it the better way by just using the ignition switch to do the same job. Well, we are all buttoned up on both sides. It's working perfectly. Standard black. That, uh, it's a really high quality product. The cord feels nice, it installed pretty well. I didn't read those, but I'm sure the instructions were decent. Yeah, man, this thing is, it gets an A-plus from me. I'm going to be looking into this for my uh, 850 and a couple other cars that really do not have a good way of getting a uh, an iPod input. So hopefully some of that helps you. I know that the uh, fiber nav unit on this uh, particular car, the 987 and the 997, are particularly difficult to deal with. Um, but I mean they look nice so I can understand the desire to want to retain the nice look and still get the functionality of the iPod in So if you have any questions about how to remove the radio in the first place uh, go look through my channel There's a, a good walkthrough video on how to remove this uh, Installation is just the reverse of removal. So there you go Hopefully that helped and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good piece of hardware. So I highly recommend it